So Bits will wait it out with Smokes at the ready to try and throw over a flash as well to give his teammate a bit more to work with. And Electronic will capitalize mid-pressure from both teams to start off. What a tone and a tempo they want to set. Minute and 36. And we've already got two kills, both of them going the way of Navi. Tessis and Refresh, gone. That's a really cool little stack over the edge of the smoke. It's almost like creating two one-ways on each side. That's difficult to punish and certainly maybe even not even seen a whole lot. Bombs down as well. That's the heartbreak of this round for Heroic, and they still have a chance to come back into it, but it's going to be so, so difficult with how far forward that bomb is. It's in the entrance to Donut, and they don't have... I mean, they have Flash Smoke to be able to re-aggress and try and retake mid, but look at all the bodies from Navi that are here and ready to fight. Simple. Still holding that mid position. Oh, they wanted to go for a run boost, I think, potentially. Or were they just trying to see over the ledge? Either way, they try to move Simple's aim. That's not going to work. Welcome to the Major Simple. He gets his first headshot. That is Katie, and he takes down. But Stowen has the shot back onto him. It's just, just trying to make sure they have no one flanking around. But Donut's been covered, and that bomb's down on the entrance to the Donut, to the... A site <laughs> electronic man. That's not bad at all. Four kills for him in that round. It's the way the follow-up smoke from Heroic almost gives them that same exact one-way setup that they initially had in the round. They're like, "Thank you. We'll take that. We love it." Yeah, four kills on electronic. One on simple as well. Beautiful start to the game, and refresh just couldn't turn that corner. Pretty solid stuff from the USPs. Like I say, electronic starting off lovely. Four kills for him. Get rolling early. And again, they're going to go back toward middle with two players, so... An interesting note, you can see the smokes as well looking ready to go over top of that huge double door, that main entrance to whatever fortress, Aztec palace that we are in. But they still have to wrap around through elbow, it's still the long way, that's the thing, the CTs have the granted access to mid and baited, oh my goodness, baited in, I was going to say Electronic has them all coming toward his gun, a simple try to do more work and bring them that direction, hook, line and sinker, but it's Boomich that has to sink the ship in the end because the dinks were going out, and down one Electronic in the back lines. They lost at least one M4 in that, in that situation, I think Electronic even had to stop shooting so he didn't shoot his teammate in the back, but regardless, that's not a bad round for Heroic. To get those two kills, that's expensive weaponry that has to be rebought from Navi, but they're up two to nothing. They're going to be all good for the moment. There we go again. Smokes to mid. This is this is interesting. I think we're going to see a really mid-heavy game at the start of this, more than we've seen in most ancient games so far. It does seem like Navi, I mean, look, it's, it's the sample size is very, very, very small with this just being the third round, but it does seem like Navi isn't, is not is kind of willing to fight in a big way. The, the interesting thing too, though, is this time they don't actually contest it in terms of manpower. Obviously, they know they're gonna be against AKs. They only have the MP9 still in their hand, but they force out so much utility by having put pressure on it that two smokes already went down. And despite that they want to split onto the A site, it's a tough position to hold now, or rather take, because single smoke back to the back lines. Electronic's gonna have his dispelling and dissipating shortly. In fact, there's a gap in it, but the kills are going the way of Heroic. Bomb down, five on three. If, if Electronic doesn't get anything, yeah, I think now they have to make this, the call to save. I think Electronic didn't get anything with that cheeky little angle that he had. He had a small, small opportunity, but now that there's nothing, oh. ooh, he doesn't even get away. He's waiting for the spam to stop through the smoke, and it comes from a different angle. And yeah, Na Navi gotta back away. And now you go back to those two kills with the Glocks in the previous round on the M4s, and next round, Navi's not going to have a whole lot of money, a whole lot of weaponry to play with. They can drop some guns over as long as Perfecto and Boomich stay alive. So probably one more chance to prevent Heroic from taking control. First round on the board off the back of some good entry kills from Shush. First one... Actually, excuse me, it wasn't Shush who got the entry kill initially. I'll take that back. Okay, I'll allow it. He did get that kill on Electronic through the smoke, though. He did. That was uh, pretty cool, because, yeah, you could tell Electronic put that smoke down to protect himself, and he's down waiting to get himself away. I knew it started with an S, though. I was, yeah, it was, it was all right. That's fine. Shush, down, simple. Yep, a bunch of S's. Sadikist. He's irrelevant, though. Molotov down front side donuts, and a bit of smoke in behind it as well, so that's covered off. Interesting that they go for that uh, position in particular early on from the T side, whereas right now they'll head over toward ramp. I say that as opposed to sort of the top mid position that has been so prominent for Navi already, and Electronic is the one that is there. There was a smoke there too, though, don't get me wrong. They certainly put one. 
Ooh, simple with the off. Got the first one more close up. Oh, oh of course he has that as well. And at a third. That is spectacular. He's at the major and he's not wasting any time. Absolutely not. He's got a highlight within the fourth round of arrival and Electronic continues to be on form and closes it out. Three to one. Two incredibly close scopes from Simple. Look how calm he is about it. That's just normal for him. Yeah, that's that's just a normal day in the office. A walk in the park. Whatever, whatever platitude you want to give it. I want, a, I want a crowd behind that. I can't wait to get to Stockholm now. Let's go. Yeah. I want people just going berserk. That would have blown days. the roof off the arena. Foolish. Is there a roof? It's kind of like a sphere. It's the still a roof. Arena. It's just a curved roof. Yeah, but then it's like the walls too, right? Like, <laughs> Okay, we're going to break down the whole walls too. Yeah, we're just yeah. going to explode the sphere. <laughs> All right, well, that sucks if you're heroic. That feels like you had a did a pretty good job of closing the gap of getting into the site, and that's just what Simple brings to the table. Turn it around for no good reason at all. Back to some subpar weaponry for a heroic. So Stan this time back over with his team toward the ramp. They want to go quickly with the subpar, as you say, weaponry. We saw the Tech 9 Glock do a massive amount of damage, but Electronic is just menacing in middle right now as he finds now his 10th kill in this game. I want to point out right now, by the way, Perfecto is 0-0-0. Zero, zero, and zero. They've been playing 4v5. Boomage. 2-0. <laughs> bit 0-0-1. Oh, zero, zero, yeah, this is all, except for two kills. The other 15 on the team have been electronic and simple. Not bad. Can't complain about that one. That's not going to last throughout this game. We've spent some time highlighting how good... Pit, uh, bit and perfecto have been how important they've been to this team actually getting to this level and being given this level of respect by pretty much everyone opponents pundits and the community itself refresh and katie in the last two left interesting to note as well that stalin has four and getting going but despite that have a round win already Boomich is low enough they could take him down katie will get simple there's a refresh as well so he's on the board and with 11 hp he'll try and do some more economic damage bomb is in his hands indicated by the fact that he is slightly more orange than yellow on the mini map just to be clear if you haven't i believe yeah, i didn't see where that one came from but it certainly slows down the play look i mean look how the, the fast play early from Na'Vi, look how slow Heroic is just to take eight tunnels, which typically is a defense. So what's the call for the AWP? They're going to split this a two... Okay, so well, two, three, but one whole box. But they are at least putting some effort into the... Yikes. B side of the map. That's a missed Molotov. I believe. Yeah, I didn't see where that one came from, but it certainly slows down the play. Look, I mean, look how... The, the fast play early from Na'Vi, look how slow Heroic is just to take eight tunnels, which typically is a default T-spot. And Simple's gone wide, talking about that big box. You said we'd see this from some of the other teams, especially, I think you even mentioned Na'Vi. When they get here, G2 is another. They'll play wide. They'll play right into that hallway. Also, yeah, I mean, this is also just a, yeah, partially, it's it's a not a ploy, but like a, a little bit of a setup. Simple being mobile around it. They just saw him over at the B-bomb site at the pillar in the previous round. We got that stunning triple kill. Now he starts out over at the A-bomb site. So he's trying to establish him being mobile so that Heroic cannot call based on his position. And also with an AWP in that position looking so deep, it allows the rest of your rifles to be very mobile in how they want to rotate. And Heroic shifting away from Simple across the map. And even he's going to start backing off and cheating away. They're going to leave Bit all alone in Donut to hold down any kind of late fallback to that bomb site. Any kind of information he can gather in those A-Halls. But it's going to be the B-bomb site that's under attack. And Navi playing retake. Kadian. Working his way in with that AWP. He's the one with the bomb, he'll plant it. They go for the short side plant. Perfecto's figured it out because he heard no action toward the pillar, but a good response. Stalin fires back through the smoke, takes him down. And that was as much as good as a guess as anything because there was no tracers. And Kadian now watches directly toward that back lane. He does not know though that Electronic has already gotten in that position. So a second one in that spot, but pretty t tiny little narrow corridor. Should be an easy shot for him, no mistake about it. No utility to move Kadian away from the bomb. And I think, interestingly enough, they're gonna call this early. 
Four on two makes sense. They don't have a ton of money built up despite this 4-1 lead, so we'll get another round four heroic. Yeah, I think they actually were going to call that, that save no matter what in that 3v4 and electronic, as you mentioned, just tucked into that corner the whole time, couldn't get out. Heroic's two entries on that bomb site come through that same exact smoke to that back corner. In fact, all three kills taking place in that position. Kadian picked off Boomich right as the smoke plumed. I didn't get a chance to see if Kadian saw a glimpse before that smoke popped, but... Follow-up was an AK spray. And then Electronic trying to exit at the end, and that's an easy one for Heroic. Classic strat, find out where simple is, go to the other bomb site. Refresh. Extinguishes the molly that's it quickly put out toward the boxes. He'll hold it off knowing that there's very likely going to be pressure, but this is going to be a pretty quick A hit, or at least contact play, and it's going to be straight contact, no utility down. They know they've gotten this far, but that leaves Pit backside donut hallway. He's going to take down Shush, and Electronic trying to spam through connector will rotate inside pillar instead. Simple forced off the angle, blinded. And Tessis is going to get the bomb plant. Safe. One flashbang left for the heroic side, but it's on refresh, and he's on a big flank. There's a timer on this. Boomich is looking for it, but if he takes his attention away just once, actually, even Simple is kind of looking for it as well. He wants to go find this refresh not moving yet. There it is. There's an easy shot for Simple. Not an easy one for Kadian as he doesn't land on the second. He did get Electronic down. That was back towards CT Connector. Stowin on the boost spot, however, has two. He's got bit down as well. Smoke, he's above Perfecto. He didn't see it. He's tapped it. He's off it. He's trying to stay away. But Simple's so low on HP, they have to go find Perfecto. It's time that's going to matter. He's going to go for the defuse. The knife's going to come in, and he swipes once, hits him, and that's enough to scare him away. And even though they're both low on HP, I think they're going to try but fail on both accounts to get away and survive. Fool, what a weird round. That's a grinding battle for Heroic. I actually thought after Simple got the flank kill they had a huge advantage good play from the boost up to delay to harass to find the kills as they come into the bomb site heroic did just barely enough a third round on the board and a change of pace as well as you mentioned a contact play towards that a bomb site faster timing than what navi was used to seeing in these rounds previously Kadian waiting for the contact boost up. This time over the stairs doesn't yield much for the Deagle. The, oh, I was about to say, although it will now, but just can't quite get the aim right, Perfecto. And Refresh adds to that total as well. And looking great now, Heroic onto their fourth round. Already have this one pretty much wrapped up. They're just trying to push this back, make sure they don't lose anything as well with these, these pistols. Send Kadian, let him go. Let him go farm up some cash or Ooh. just let him die. That's fine too. Yep, simple seventh kill. Seventh kill, but not going to stop anything, obviously. Still going to be tied up at four after this round. Oh, it's so tranquil. Give me that music track with a little bit of rain. And I'm, I'm asleep in five minutes. <laughs> well, luckily, we've got a little bit more excitement than that, because I am wide awake for this one as we get tied up already in this game. Exactly what people want to see. These two teams early on in a match that does matter, as you said earlier. They all matter. However, it's opening day of the Legends. It's a best of one, 1-0, one 0-1. Oh, oh it's not the end of the world for either team, but it certainly sets the tempo for the event. Gives us something to uh, speak of as well. I know that a lot of people, just to be quick as well, Chad was saying in the green room, he hopes Navi have a good start. They are famous for starting slow at events. Yeah, well, I mean, as we've mentioned in, in the previous two matchups, that's just kind of a thread that we're just going to keep our eye on for these opening matches as well of the teams who have who have come in who didn't have to play through the challenger stage. We've, we've usually seen the upsets occur the most in, in, in the Legend team's first matches of the tournament coming in a little bit cold. Simple again, a third position. He started over at B a couple times, started at long A, and now he's starting in Donut with Bit taking up that position, and Simple's going to get all the attention. He's going to get all the attention, but he doesn't get the first shot. Oh, I love that movement, trying to bait out the shot Stalin, because Simple's go so good at hitting people jumping around corners, but very good air control. And Tessis will take him down. Shush has electronic. This is them absolutely overrunning Na'Vi. Yeah. 
They might have to call a timeout to see if they want to go back to that aggressive middle or if, if they've got to get something going toward the A ramp because right now they're just getting caught out on the back lines and the sights have just been attained far too easily. Perfecto wants to grab that AK. But I don't know that he's going to do very well with it. Round might be over. Uh, well, is over, but might be over shortly if they can actually surround him and get the kill. But he's going to try and back his way out. They're already watching Cave. Stallion's actually one step ahead of Perfecto here. And I AWP, though. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I thought he was going to be scoped in and ready for it. Gets away with one. Tessus for the trade. Almost great from Perfecto. Almost finding a bunch of exits and even almost being able to swap over to the AWP. At the end of the day, it's not to be. Five to four, one round lead for Heroic. And yeah, you're right, running over and everyone on Heroic, once contact is made, being aggressive and being confident and chasing down the next fight and chasing down the trade if there's to be. So it's cool to watch Heroic get started on this map like that. Round number 10. And Navi's fighting with a scout, two de three deagles and a 5-7. Mid control as Tess is with the MAC-10 investigates. Oh, that was so close to the headshot, Tessus. Well, the investigation has uh, yielded an arrest, sir. And now it's even yielded pressure on the flank, so Perfecto can't even stick around to stop if Heroic was to commit up the A ramp. Boomich almost able to get another one. The change in the Deagle. Not making that not as easy to get multi-kills in those positions. Perfect, though, holding the very tight sliver gap to allow simple closer. 54 seconds, low HP on refresh. Bobby needs a round. Need to pull something out of this. Again, no weapons. It's not like they're you know, I'm way behind at this point in time, but starting to certainly feel the pressure and not getting the opening kills. Stown, meanwhile, going up with the AK, wants to just go for straight contact. There was a smoke to cover the stairs, as I'm sure many of you saw. Perfecto flashed off the angle, angle and the plant is the objective, and that at least achieved. Nosey's behind the pillar. Good spray down. Stowen managing to use the AK to slide underneath a simple, and that takes out the immediate threat. The other two behind the smoke to look for exits. Bits actually sneaking in quite far here. He's managed to get to Wooden, which means Kadian gone inside of the cave. That gives him an AK. Now, no, oh. Tessus is going to be in front. Bit, he's got two kills because Perfecto started it off. It's Refresh, 10 HP on the AWP, but finds the first 10 second defuse. He got on it before Refresh could hear it, before Refresh was set up. I don't know that he knows he's there. Oh, he could have oh, held that. No. He had that. He absolutely had that, but somehow, for whatever reason, Bit lost his nerve. I don't know if he would have. Ha uh, yeah, I don't. I think he. Did. I don't think refresh was going to be that quick to That's the. That's the question. Was refresh going to walk up and actually take the glance? I'm not sure what got him off that bomb. If you're at that point, you might as well just hold the stick and pray. Heroic maybe getting away with one. There is a point, right? I get what he's doing, but you're past the 10 seconds. It's a 10 second defuse. You got three seconds left. You've got to at least be like, all right, I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm almost you there. commit to that. There's, oh, I'm so surprised. Bit like over there. That's almost worth going down with the ship. Especially considering you're buying in this round no matter what. Oh, well. That's one Navi and Bit would maybe like to have back. Bomb in one player positioned outside of the A bomb site. Three players from Heroic over at B. It looks like they might have called off that initial idea. Is that a, a negative one play for Bit? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like the, the, the one in his name turns to a zero? Yeah, sure. I didn't actually know what you meant, but... Yeah, there you go. Now that you explain it. I'm interested to see what this is going to become. Is it, This almost looks like it... I don't know. These They could throw a fake and go meet up and, and join up with the players outside B and maybe come in a little bit late. This could be a double fake as well. There's the creep up the ramp towards the B-bomb site. They'd love to have some success. A kill to force a rotation. And that's indeed what it is, a fake. Two players still outside A, but a lot is predicated on how much pressure can be a P hit. That's big. That's good on his effort. You're right. Tess is down. 
It's been recovered immediately. Cadians grabbed it, but they're not exactly getting away with possession on the other side of the map as well as Shush now has ramp by way of getting out Boomich. But he found a kill in forehand and Stowen was gone. So 21 seconds as they have to rotate this back over. Refresh will manage to get up the boxes, not get spotted from Donut, but Shush gone. And it's going to be very tight. If they have any chance at this, it's going to all come down to the player inside a cave. No, it's safe. It's safe territory. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. Kadian just looking to see if anyone's going to start creeping forward to go for a save. It's a cool idea. I think, unfortunately, what negated it more than anything is Navi playing passive. If there's someone inside the bomb site, if there's someone at the pillar, if they're trying to hold on to the site itself, maybe you get a kill there if you're heroic. And that's what can pull Bit further over away. Also, great heads up from Bit, because in his ears he's hearing, they're coming B, execute B, smokes down, I can't see anything, flashes. And he's still holding his nerve, and as he's backing up, being very cognizant of the peak from Long, from the A-Halls. Timeout called by Heroic. They have a one-round lead. Well, it's close. That's what we could have hoped for. I wasn't sure we were going to get that after what we saw from Heroic in the first part of this event in the challenger stage. But that's exactly what we want. Let's get some competition. Let's go. Navi is ready to go this time. As we get into the freeze time, we'll see what they come up with. That is some lush looking green, my friend. What I, although loam can also be brown with pine needles and detritus, but let's not get details about it, woods in the forest. That's where I live now. A woodsman? Uh, yes. Ooh, That's electronic. Is he going to go peek over the flames towards mid? Aggression towards outside of the B bomb site. Uh, he's going to get neutralized, though. So much smoke. This would make this a very risky ploy. And Heroic going to flash through. They want to clear it. But no one's peeking from mid with that flashbang. However, this is still on a knife's edge. Uh, it's so... Yeah, Simple's not exactly in a position to be able... He, like, he has to trade. He's not holding it to keep Electronic out of it. And Electronic needs to get forward of the boxes or exactly that. I, I get what they're going for, but there's a timer on that, right? You can't leave your right side completely exposed with that much utility thrown toward the boxes. Not with Heroic playing mid the way they have. Good shot from Perfecto to take down Katie, but he found Boomich before that. I do think that was the timeout call, right? They wanted to get aggressive again. They wanted to not let Heroic get map control as they had been, but I, I don't I don't know. That, I feel like that could have been... I think Electronic had to get a little more aggressive or back off sooner. He just didn't have options was the big thing. Smokes in both directions. Bit is going to be called upon one more time. Simple can come through that smoke, but Bit has to provide him the opening, and I think he needed the follow-up. Simple's going to come through anyways, and they didn't expect it, but a little bit sloppy as he comes out. Took him a little long to find Tess's, and he couldn't calm it down and transfer it over to the second player. Perfecto left in a one versus two. There's a kit down. There's two kits down inside the bomb site. I think in this situation, if you're Perfecto, you go for it. Perfecto working his way around. Two kits, as you say, down on the site. He's going to swing it in, but they're going to be staring at this surely. They have to be. Oh, no, they're not. The timing. Box to protect. He sees one, tries to get the spray, and does do some damage on his down. Not enough. He goes out. They're both there. He nearly isolated that down. I thought there was a chance he gets refresh in that, but I think Stalin had the trade either way. Instead, though, he kills him before his teammate drops, and it's now a two-round lead for Heroic. Heroic being super effective in these well, mid-round, or they did it a, like a contact with a, with a faster timing earlier of just walking out long A at the moment. And I think one of the things giving them confidence to do that is they found a string around where Simple has not been able to afford or pick up the AWP. So we saw earlier when Navi went on their, their little bit of a streak to start this game, Simple was very mobile around the map, playing the op from multiple different positions. And now that that's not a piece of danger, Heroic taking a lot of liberties with it and really taking advantage of the lack of an op on the Navi side. Bit will work his way around and uh, play the box to the back side of the A site. So again, that open position. Gives you a bit of an angle to both of the entrance points onto A. I've gotten it ingrained in my head now, which is A and 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 B on this map. Because for a while, I think it was swapped. If I'm still not feels like it should be swapped. Yeah, I, I still right. stumble over it a couple times. <laughs> yeah, because typically speaking, on all the other maps, A is on the right of the mini map for some reason, and left out of CT spawn. But I've, I've come to terms with it, Jason. I can accept it now. I've accepted it. Yeah. Six out of the last seven rounds have gone to Heroic. In the seven rounds they've won, they've gotten five bomb plants as well.
Some of that has been the nature of Navi playing retake recently, especially at this B bomb site. But a lot of it too is this kind of stuff. What I just mentioned is just kind of walking out the A long A, the A holes. And they're going to do it again. Bit. Got it. He went one for one in this position earlier. Now he's got to worry about middle. But actually, I think Kadian just slipped past his crosshair. Simple steps through the smoke and refresh was pulling out the bomb. That's a gift. Now they know exactly where it is. Perfecto gets Kadian down as well. The fact that he snuck through won't matter. If the MP9 can find the kills and Tessa so was overwhelmed, didn't know where to look. Bit finishes it off. And this time, the hold from the donuts is around for Navi. Seven to six. Oh, James. He's back. Wow. Is that, is that the noise? Usually it's like <laughs> That 10,000 RPM little blades. Put your finger in there, dare you? Yeah, I'm all good. 14, Mr. Leading the way. 14 kills for Stout. Leading the way for his team. Bumich and Perfecto on the initial defense here at B. This time it looks like Heroic's more than happy to head this way. Here's that defense again from Electronic and Simple. And this time as well, or this time as opposed to last time, they kind of back off it. Flash is over. Boomich backs away. Molotov down in front of him, but it doesn't matter because Perfecto has a lineup instead. He gets two. It's eventually him down. The Deagle of Kadian now upgraded onto an AK, but 26 HP, and I'm sorry, Kadian, um, that Flash... You're not immune to it. It did blind you because you didn't throw it far enough, but it did keep him at least alive. And at bay, and able to swing around the other way, he takes down Boom. It's just simple and electronic. They are back on the case. And they'll sandwich the site. I don't know how that initial flashbang from Heroic didn't actually blind Boomich's position. It seemed like it popped perfectly to at least bother him a little bit, but his vision was clear the whole time. I don't know if that would have changed anything. Nice plant from Heroic. They're like the fastest translucent glasses ever, Jason. That's why. <laughs> Boom. They were instantly black. He was fine. He's all good. Well, all good in that round, at least. Not not quite all good in the match yet. It's seven to seven. Navi finally ties things up. Last round of the first half to see who takes an advantage moving forward. And this time, Heroic, massive bodies... Not actually, I thought all four were going to head towards A, but a 2-2-1 two, two, setup to open things for the heroic attack. Refresh stylishly throws up a flash over top of mid-wall. Meanwhile, they'll push forward with it, and he's going to rotate. No, excuse me, that's Katie that's going to rotate around and join him with them. Tessus is already evaluating what's going on at Donut, so it's a very passive behold. But what does B hold? Because right now there's two players there, but there's an already leading rotation, if you will, by Simple, who gets into the palace. And he's already got one. The plaza position as he takes down Katie and in the hole. And it's going to be Electronic to find Stout immediately after. Shush still managing to make this level, but that nade from Electronic will find Tessis. Hold on, though. Refresh. We said he was throwing utility earlier. Now he's sneaking around very sly in behind Navi. And this flank could be everything. Perfecto's considering it, but what's the timing? Because every time he peeks, he has to look away. And when he looks back, all he does is face death straight in the face. And now Refresh. Which way does he go? Checks middle, but the bomb. It's still down toward A at Donut, so they want to wrap back this way, and with the hold at boxes, do they have enough time to run it all the way back over toward B? I don't think so. I think you're going to have to be pretty committed to get that bomb as well, and look at the way, look at how much time they have to spend actually clearing everything. 20 seconds just passing on the clock, and yeah, at least Navi's taking eyes off it. I don't know what the timing is to bail all the way back, and I don't think they even want to risk it. Boomich, off angle, oh, can't no. control the spray, and that's a nightmare. <laughs> Electronic with the nade, it's not going to stop. Oh, it almost stops the plant, and now it does. Refresh got off the plant and tried to readdress it. Electronic's going to win a magical 1v2. A bit of a gift. And he had to run out and play that. It wasn't like dying after time mattered. That was round 15. I thought Refresh maybe should have kept going through CT because that way he guarantees to find information, but they played the bomb. They nearly got away with it did on he, that 1v2. Did he hear the nade and get off that first plant? I don't know if I, I, I don't know if he heard the nade or if he actually just wanted to adjust position for a yeah. post plant. Because I don't know if the nade actually had already left the hand at that point. Like, I know you're saying the pin, but that's pretty far for that small de sound detail. Yeah, I'm not sure. Regardless, Bit did have the... Okay, let's see if we get it back. That was the first nade. 
in the round. Obviously, he picks up another one there and throws it. Yeah, we didn't get to see it from his perspective, but I, I, I think he was actually just adjusting. I don't know. I'd have to see the timing of it again. Well, look, remember, those are that odd diffuse that Bit got off, the 10-second diffuse yes. that he had down to, I like, two and a half seconds. So, you know, they're just giving each other giving each other some Christmas presents, some early Christmas presents. It's too early to talk about Christmas. Everyone calls me a Grinch for that, but come on, let's just let's not get too excited too early, all right? I'll lose sleep over it. Stowen waits with the dualies inside Jaguar, Katie in alongside. He's going to fall back. He's got dualies as well. So there's four guns in that one position, but they fire one at a time. What if you could uh, left click for one of the pistols and right click for the other, Jason? That'd be fun. Brrr, yeah. Really fast. You used to be able to bind it to mouse wheel up and down. That's Taylor's he, oldest time. I don't even want to talk <laughs> about that because. Turned it into a machine gun. Man, it caught for the deagle. That's what people did, and they had to ban it. You could unclick the the the. Logitech mice back then, and the mouse wheel would free spin, and you would just get eight bullets, un or seven bullets unloaded into you before you could even see the guy just brrr, dead. Okay, well, that's banned. Awesome. That sounds fun. Yeah, don't talk to me about mouse wheel shooting, you little cheaters. <laughs> I know who you are. I wonder if Rob Wiz did that. I should ask him. To the B-bomb site we go, and an investigation from Tess's and refresh and mid. Oh, that timing. The footsteps, though. Tess has just made a bunch of noise. Navi doesn't seem to have heard it. Actually, it might not matter. The double kill from the two duelies. Two's all over the board, and somehow Navi's fighting the way through this. They know Kadian is still here. Simple gonna swing out. There he goes. Simple doing a great job. Even well, shooting his teammate in the process, but he had to to get the kill. He's finally gonna go down, and somehow Heroic still managed to sustain and get the defuse. Yeah, you made it. Simple doing a great job. Oh, but actually killed Electronic. But you're right, he had to. He had to shoot through him. And they get the uh, the kits as well as uh, the extra bit of utility. Excuse me, that wasn't a kit he picked up. So just a bit of nades and grabs the duelies off the ground. That's what he really wanted. And they'll get, as you said, the defuse to make this 8-8 eight to eight and take the momentum on the CT side. I'm starting to wonder if this is doable for Heroic. Not that it's impossible. I'm not saying, like, oh, my God, what an upset. But I think they're in a great position right now. Oh, certainly. This is this is fantastic, especially considering this this heroic competing at a level above what they had to, you know, in the previous stage. I think a lot of people were a bit worried at how shaky they looked in the challenger stage. And this is at least going to start uh, rebuilding some of that confidence. Good shooting from simple. But man, what a what a tough deficit. You had two players pushing down that B ramp to get a double kill. You had two players pushing in mid. That was going to be a fast flank and one player far back playing retake at the B bomb site. Navi executed right into a trap. Had a player drop from the server. So we're going to get a tech pause, tech timeout, before he can rejoin. Little uh, mainstream update, I guess we'll call it. Uh, if you don't have it up on your second monitor, first of all, you're, you're crazy. Second of all, Virtus Pro leading Vitality 12 to 7. So, 16 rounds in the books, and this one should get underway shortly, but obviously I think we're on a technical pause, not a tactical at this point. Dan, sponsorship for uh, Navi. How does that make you feel? Uh, well, I hope they drive a manual, because those CBTs are literally the worst in the entire world, and if you buy an SN, you will definitely have to replace your transmission at some point. All right, good to know. And the GTR is overrated. All right, let's get back to it. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Stown going to push up. Molotov holding Perfecto and Navi at bay. Smoke's everywhere. Simple's going to go for a boost over. Is he going to find it? We could find two. He could find two, but they wanted to get off. They're happy with the one for one on that push. Kadian's out to the left. They don't even know that yet. He's taking a big risk. No information in middle. He's just assuming no one's out, no one's there. And it looks like Heroic is ready to pounce as soon as Kadian makes contact. It's going to be a double swing from the ramp, and here it comes. They're both going to go down for sure. Well managed from Heroic. And they're poised to go up 9-8. Well, Pitt's going to try and work his way around with a deagle and... 
hopefully find a bit of map, hopefully find a gift at this point in time. That's all I can really hope for. Although that said, if Pretty much been given this bomb site for free. Single smoke down flash deep. Now it's a close smoke just to allow the plant, which means they'll be able to get in and evaluate and start to clear. Oh, well, that's even better for Shush. I was going to say, start to clear the corners at the very least. So even if the bomb goes down, it'll be a very easy kill after. That was really about money, but great denial from Shush. Yeah, perfect denial. Boomich would have loved that ex extra $800, but not going to happen. Everyone says I said CBT. I said CBT, all right? Open your ears. Chat, don't make me start with you. I will I will single-handedly roll up my sleeves and probably lose, but I'll take you on. <laughs> He's not lying. I've seen Matt take plenty of fights where he had no chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some would say it's his MO. Kadian going to push down mid. Just establish a bit of presence. Just show presence. Make Navi realize he's there and then back away. Electronic and simple working that portion of the map. Boomich is doing his best to keep hold of this, but his head gets taken off. Oh, shush. He's actually burning. That's his teammate's Molotov, I think. He is very fortunate to be alive. Yeah, not for long, actually. Excuse me. That was Boomich's Molotov. It just randomly spread to actually click onto him or to, to start burning his feet. So the aggression from Heroic goes one for one, and now more aggression in the mid-round coming from Donut, and Electronic doesn't have the timing. He just looks away. Kadian's got an easy one, and there's Bit trading that back as well. So this gets pretty tight and close and early in the half. Money the factor. This is a big round for Navi to take so as not to let this game get too far away from them. Good flash timing as soon as the shoulder peak came out, but they run on the back of it. It doesn't really do much because they're not close enough to act on Tessus, which means he's ready to go for the headshot. Slides wide, knowing that he's going to be pre-fired by Perfecto, and it's perfectly dealt and dished as he goes down. Shots to protect. Hmm, interesting. I thought perhaps they'd stick the plant and that Bit would actually take that fight, but instead Simple wanted to bait his own battle. Instead goes down. It is all on to Bit. And refresh. To go again! Ooh. Damn it, that is a lovely shot from Bit. It is 9 to 9. That's filthy. I can't even believe he didn't go and stick the plant and play the post plant, but fair play. Bit, he's got incredible... He's, he's, his emergence in this roster has been incredible. In fact, you can probably almost mark their rise to being as dangerous as they are now and their rise to start really securing that Intel Grand Slam. He's another one of those guys whose headshot percentage is just something wild. He's, I remember a lot of talk about him before he came into this team, and you're right. He is someone that, like, Navi seems to have found so many skilled players, and it was for a while. CIS had, like, no one else. It was a lockout. It was the second RMR that you and I casted together, uh, run by run by Star Ladder, where yep. I think that felt to me like the first time I'd seen Bit really look comfortable within this squad, and he was a huge big-time player for, for Navi at that event, and then immediately after that into Cologne, he dominated at that event as well. It's just so cool to see because I remember Anders was going off in one of the minors. I, I forget. I think we were at. I can't remember. I think I want to say we were at like in Brazil at the time that the that major was going off, uh, and and Electronic he was looking at the kill feed and he was like, man, this guy's got like crazy amounts of kills this entire event, and none of us heard of it. Anders Anders being Anders made that ridiculous. Like this guy's the next. You watch, he's my boy. I'm like Anders, you haven't even actually seen him play yet. You've just looked at score bots, but that's Anders, and he was right. And that was the first time we started to see youngsters coming through CIS because there was much like I talked about at the, the opening day of this event. There was like Sweden did, um, like North America did a bit. There was a lockout from the older players, yeah. and now you're seeing this young talent come through, just like Denmark has done so often. Now Bit's like that figure, but Electronic's someone we've just known and accept, and he's been around for a while. It's also crazy to me. I still remember like Simple and Flipside, Hellraiser's Flipside, the Hiko Liquid era, and then like into Na'Vi, but that was 2016 he joined Na'Vi. Like, yeah. it seems like that all was fairly recent. It's crazy. I'm with you. Like, actually, it doesn't feel like he's been in this roster for that long, but he has been. And here we go. 9-9. Nine, nine. Heroic at a breaking point. Two smokes for the rest of the round. No kits. I think that's why we're seeing all five players stacked over here towards the B-bomb site. If Navi comes in this direction, we can handle it. If not, we'll just save these weapons, and then we can buy up some utility and some useful tools around the guns in the next. Boomich doing his job of holding onto this position, making sure no kind of a flank can oh, come dear. through mid. That Molotov, I think, was supposed to go through that doorway. But no one's there, so it's all good. 
That's true, yeah, they get away with it. Pumich is going to wait for the rotations. Might get one with the Tech-9. It's an MP90 go against him, though, so he's got to be careful on the repeat because the running gun aspect is quite significant. And, in fact, so too the spam as Shush goes through the box. But that'll be all. I think yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's fair play. I don't, I don't, I don't mind this at all from Heroic. A four spot right on the edge. It's nine to nine. You still got plenty of time, plenty of rounds to play with. Next time they're going to be able to get a couple kits, get you know more utility, more Molotovs and smokes and flashbangs. And we've seen Heroic enjoying being aggressive at the start of rounds. We've seen them enjoy being like execute some mid-round aggression as well. And those are the tools they need to be able to pull off those kinds of plays. So Navi take a one-round lead, but it's not. This round was nothing special. This round right here, round 20, is going to be very contentious, and it'll it'll kind of set the stage for who's going to have hold of the match heading into the later stages. Looking at Kadian. Making the early call as to what the play will be. The play from Navi is going to be aggressive. Test is only good for one. Boomich went through the Molotov as well. They both elected to go rather than bait one and only one. That allows for the trade. Certainly not something they would have anticipated from the CT side. And look at the rotation. Look how many players are already back over here. And this is not a commitment from Navi. That said, there's time to recover this from Heroic. Bomb still waiting back toward the connector at the bottom of the ramp. And uh, we'll see if they can figure this out because a lot of utility, they walk into the smoke to get information. My goodness, Simple, not bad. I don't think he was even going for that kill. I feel like he was going for one far up at the top of the ramp at the corner. He just got a little bit lucky. Kadian gonna flash his way in. Good trades. There's that mid-round aggression that Heroic likes to pull off. Into a two-on-two -two we go. Bit and Simple. They're gonna join up just outside the A bomb site as Simple hustles over to his teammate. Heroic just now investigating, but until that smoke clears, they're probably not going to be fe feeling too comfortable calling that everything is all good on this side of the map. Shush is starting to investigate. And Refresh as well is going to see no presence in mid. Slow and steady. They're just holding hands. They jump up together. They go down together. They're going to play a bet around a hopscotch, maybe. Not going to plant the bomb yet because they want to clear everything, including the fight towards Shush, which they don't win. That leaves Simple exposed. He has to try and plant it now, but there's a flank coming in. He only has one flash. And they'll nade toward him. Smartly, he goes toward Donut, the only position that doesn't leave him exposed, but they know he's gone there. They're well aware because Refresh he had every other possibility covered off. A one on two. He still manages to get space, though. Now it doesn't really matter, aside from the fact that he doesn't know they're not in middle. Smoke. He's on it. He doesn't know they're not defusing. And now they can put the Molotov down and force him off the angle. Shush knows where he has to repeat from. And that is a well-held one-on-two, or rather two-on-one, from Heroic. Yeah, Heroic's doing a great job of, of finding ways in the mid-round to even out the player counts. Whenever they go down an advantage, they find the right response, and they're just trading back and forth. That is a good 2v2 to win. Very calm, very calculated. And this game is just dead even. Back and forth, 10 to 10. So we got a tack pause this time. That's why we're getting a bit of chatter. Refresh chiming in. No doubt this is what exists. Can come to the front. And look at that. Simple. The man's uh, a studied it's, human. It's the face he has looking at. He's like, all right, you know. Come on, cameraman. Fine, I'll look get at these notes. I don't really need them, but. Get your screenshots, everyone. That was it. You could add Navi's notes right there. I'm just going to act like I'm looking at this. But really, I just want to go kill everyone. Yeah. He's like, where's the one that just says simple kill? Is that, <laughs> is that on the back? Is it, oh, okay. It did look like he didn't even care about those notes. What do these colors mean? Oh, fair play. That's a first time out taken by Navi. And we're getting back to back tacticals as well. So Navi is going to uh, chat amongst themselves a bit more. Uh, maybe they have to explain what those colors do mean to Simple. <laughs> well, 18 kills on electronic to lead the way for Navi. Oh, they all got it. Oh, yeah, no, Blade's done his job here. He's done a printout for everyone. I suppose if you... <laughs> He's like, all right, all right so, class, okay, pick so up the notes. Actually, so there's an interesting one for you. Yeah. All right, so, so coaches can no longer interject at all other than in that time. 
which means they only have that 30-second window or a minute there because they stacked them, uh, to, to speak with the team. What if he gives you a piece of paper that has more time than that, obviously, because they can read it at their leisure, and he just says, all right, guys, read this now. And then they can read it for the next 30 seconds of this round. Is that still coaching input in a round? I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> Again, know. antagonizing. Throwing the grenade you know, and yeah, walking away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ho hopefully I forgot to remember to pull the pin this time, but... Yeah, those, I'm sure those are conversations that'll be happening in death. If I do imagine, actually, hold the thought, they're going to come for that. That's a beautiful nade. That's a beautiful nade. So much damage is done. Shush, Molotov is going to force him back. Important trade from Perfecto. And that's the only defender here, so Navi should be able to get into this bomb site. should be able to get the plant down. Simple boosted, excuse me, rather it's Perfecto that gets the kill, but Simple was the one above. Tessis will turn it around to find the man below that was the, the murderer in that occasion. As Tessis wants to try and get more of the smoke, they know he's back towards CT. He doesn't need to re it instead, though. Kadian can slide out. It's Boomich and the bomb. And Boomich wants that bomb to go boom very much, so he will try his hardest to bring this out, to draw this on. Here's one tap, knows the Kadian's there, swings it back and reads it perfectly. The one more's got to be in Plaza, but he's lost track of Stowin! Oh. He's found him now, and Boomich, never mind the bomb going boom, he's detonating on the server himself. That's an important 1v3, because Navi got into that bomb site. Look how intense it is for Boomich. Ooh. Gets to breathe a sigh of relief, but look at the three 1v1s he has. He gets to isolate those so, so well. Nobody can trade that kill. Good entries, but again, Heroic with such a brilliant response, finding a way to retake clean, and this one, no trade possible. Timing just barely off for Heroic, and what a delivery for the Na'Vi in-game leader. That has wiped out the economy of Heroic. That round right there is like a two for one. It's massive. That is such a sick clutch. And the fact that he plays that box doesn't peak until he absolutely has to. Timing works in his favor, too, because that box is angled that the plaza player, the person coming out from the totem, can actually see him before he wraps the other side of it, and he nail nails Kadian, and then knows, obviously, there's got to be a repeat. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. You love it. Okay, well, this might not be a two for one. There is a full investment from the heroic side, not willing to relinquish their fight in this in this sequence just yet. Two M4s, three pistols. Again, though, light on utility, but they've been able to do a lot with very little in the past. Looks like Navi might be giving him a taste of their own medicine. Three players just marching towards A for perhaps a walkout. Two players towards the B bomb site. Boomich and Perfecto, but as long as Heroic holds mid, they can quickly address either bomb site. Boomich, oh my, this is uh, either going to go very well or very poor. He sees one in the shadow, but it was the middleman he spotted, and uh, don't shoot the messenger. The other two get kind of angry. He'll get kills back. Perfecto stuck in the corner at the Jaguar position. No way out, which means they slide in and take him down. But the bomb, thankfully, goes down on A during all of this. It's still a three on three, and there's guns recovered. Ooh. You're shaking you... your head. I see it. I'm trying to decide if they go for it. I, I have to feel like no. I have to feel like, you know, they've, yeah, okay. I was curious about that. Save is the call. Going from a CZ to an AK-47 is quite nice. Again, Heroic, force buy and you're kind of gambling and just rolling the dice that they're going to head into your stack. It doesn't work and you're willing to fight in the next round. So if they'll have three rifles, Stown and Kadian likely won't invest in any weaponry. The CZ will get dropped over, a 5.7 or a Deagle will get dropped over to one of them and I think they'll just have utility to try and put these rifles into play. Two round lead for Navi. And off the back of the Boomich clutch. That's two real critical clutches that Navi have won in this second half. And he'll speak again as to what the plan will be. And this, yeah, this is turning out to be a great game. We're seeing the slow pace of the CIS, but it's not quite that static pace of VP, right? It's still so explosive when Navi play this particular style of Counter-Strike. Their style of Counter-Strike and the variance in their pace is something that's just beautiful. It's such a lovely cadence to watch. Unfortunately, this time they are slightly segregated and split up by the way the Molotov. They don't double commit to the push. They know they're up against a little bit less. No need to overplay their position. 
So they'll extinguish themselves off the ramp and fall back, boost up for simple so as they can't, uh, so as to prevent, excuse me, and make sure that Heroic can't take over the box position and angle and trap them down toward that bottom of the ramp side. And now we see it slow down. This is it. They couldn't find something really quickly. Eh, let's just back it off. There will be a bit of an execution toward A, though. Or excuse me, onto B. There, I've done it now. I've, done, I've confused <laughs> myself now. I know. You got, you got a little cocky earlier. You're like, I got it. I nailed it. Damn it. I'm used to it. I've been accustomed. All right. Heroic pushing for information. Just past the one-minute mark, and Kadian is calling out the A-bomb set is clear. He's got the CZ. How far does he want to push? He's going to keep going as he peeks down, jiggles, and sees nothing. That means Navi, when they eventually do pull the trigger, because this is a B-head all the way, it's going to be very, very, very tough. Four players defending for Heroic. However, they are playing back at the very least. They are playing a little bit of a retake. There's going to be a lot of bullets coming through smokes when Navi eventually pulls the trigger. <gasps> that, yep. He's going to call. Do they have time? I don't even know if... Yeah, they have time. They can go through Donut. But yeah. that, that's huge. That kill, essentially what's happened there is Bit has caught the guy pushing up at A who's getting the information. He's saying, look, they, they know we're going B. They're probably stacked. Now that I've killed this guy, it's going to be pretty open, but the clock is an enemy. That's a big kill from Refresh. Couldn't get the follow-up in Boomage. Whoa. It's just barely going to get it. And they're surely going to go for this if you're heroic. See what they can find. If they can get one kill early on, then the retake is in. Bit waiting for his chance to peek it through. Falls off the angle instead. Very tight headshot. Has Boomich behind him. That's why he's playing this. Because even if you check that close angle, which is common, he wants to try and get a trade off of it. But keep in mind, Boomich only on 22. And shush. Oh, he could he could completely thwart this. He's going to go around it. He gets by Bit's gun. Can't see each other from the other side. Test this with one. And there goes Boomich. It's Bit that's gone. Electronic has to try and hold this from the smoke. Can't do it. And there's more than enough time for Stowen to pull this back. That was so close to not even being planted. But it's Heroic's round either way. Yeah, and that's, that's Heroic again. I I just said they've been managing to do a lot with a little throughout this half. They do it one more time. Even with Kadian going down on that flank, it's just, it just puts Na Navi into such a difficult decision to make in that moment. And you had to make it so quick with the amount of time. Do you fall back and rush towards the A bomb site and play against the clock? Or do you move forward into the B bomb site and play against the stack? One round lead. Good amount of money for the Navi side. So you know they're going to be competitive in this next round. You've got to admire the way it feels like. It feels like there's been a couple opportunities for, for Heroic to just kind of spiral out of this match and Navi to take control of it and have Navi playing from behind and try and making a comeback happen. And every time they've been on the verge of being pushed over that edge, they just they just hold on. Just to be clear as well, just about those strats, and I, I jokingly said, you know, take the screenshot. I'm sure someone already was doing that. Uh, it's it's different than hearing into the comms directly and revealing things that you don't expect to be leaked, whereas I feel like with the amount of photography, the amount of cameras and everything on everyone, if you're going to put stuff on paper in front of the cameras, you're kind of expecting that it's going to be seen at some point, right? So I'm sure there's nothing super groundbreaking within those papers, and I don't see that as a violation. It's not like it's up to the tournament organizer uh, not to show that on camera. They still have a, a format to their job, and... And Navi should well be well aware of what goes on there. So just before anyone gets too carried away with the thought of you know leaking strats by by production, I don't I don't think that's I think that's that goes both ways. There's a there's an expectation there. Boomich, nice shot. Finds sound just as the smoke clears. Again, there's there's a decent trap set here for heroic though. One player refreshed deep in mid past these stairs. Two player in towards donut. Although it might not get, might not get triggered. Split towards the B bomb site. It looks like is the call from Navi. Bit's gonna find one kill. That's Katie and starting to push out of Donut. Again, probably to get some information. Tess is pushed down. Oh, he's got a double. Simple. I think he was turned to line up a smoke. Perfecto's got to handle this, and he does. Tessis never knew there was another player there. Shush has electronic though, and that makes it back to a two on two with 37 seconds and bit. Cave. I haven't cleared wood though. It's the only position I haven't cleared. I don't think he's. Oh, he's got to. There's a smoke down. Surely you have to look that direction. Perfecto at least has the information to get the trade. Lots of time to get the plant as well. As on the horse, Shush will rotate over. 44 HP for him, 55 for Perfecto. You do the math, Jason. That's 99. And I am 99% sure. 
that this one-on-one -on -one is going to be exciting. Shush will work his back with the wall behind him toward the site, checking his angles on the way through, and Cave will be the first check. Knows that he's playing it behind the box, though. Not a common place to play. Not a place you'd look, but he knows he has to look at every single corner in this situation, and Perfecto's ready for it. It's 13 to 11. Just like the last match we watched, the Liquid and Tropic game, this is, this is Navi winning all the important Maybe not all, but there's been three really critical clutches in the second half that Navi's been able to take away from Heroic. And this one probably hurts more than anything because it takes most of the money away. This time, like, they can they can force up if they want. Oh, they're playing this force by game, and it's, 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 it's tough. They've been able to hold on so long. Again, this is another round where if Navi wins this, it's just like you then just get a free ride. Not a free ride, but, you know, huge advantages to close out this map. If Heroic can just, can just stay in this one more time, that'd be so incredible. So Tessis will be up close, has the smoke in his hand, and just wants to delay things on the B site. Perfecto's way back through the double doors, just making sure that no one's going to walk down that position. That's about the closest to an exchange we have right now. A very passive stance from Navi, expecting perhaps something unorthodox with the pistols to be presented from Heroic. Maybe something Heroic to be done, Jason. They're going to go for it. little pop flash, a little nade. That's where a stack has been earlier in this half. And that flash over for a double peek. Perfecto's got to be careful on this. They're ready for it in that corner box to protect the vision so they don't get team flash, but unfortunately they're too late doing it. If they had it done, it refresh was there. There was a chance. Boomich makes contact at Cave. Now they'll go because they think that's the cue, but they'll get a lot of information from this at the very least. It only is, excuse me, only is one player at B, and Shush is the one there with the Deagle. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Good first shot. What more can he do? Electronics low. There's an opportunity for a multi-kill. He's getting boosted up. They're giving, a, they're giving Shush a lot of time. They're giving a lot of time over to Heroic to rotate over. Four on four. That's and simple. Heroic's trying to get in, but there's nothing down. There's nothing to give them cover. Yeah, Simple gets that one back. It was a good shot with the Deagle from Shush. Electronic has refresh. This is still costly. Oh. This is very costly. It's Electronic that's the low HP player left. And Tessis has not much better off. It's 10 versus 9, respectively. But Tessis has the angle back with the Deagle. And Electronic knows he has to sorely go hunting and somehow finds the kill. That is a risky play with the HP that he had. Yeah, well, Tessis had the read, too. Whew. That round gets close. What a great effort from Electronic. 10 HP before the round even begins. But, but just one more time. Heroic finds the solution. This is not a team that's going to sit back and let you dictate everything. One more time, they find information. And I think it's um, I think it's Boomich that was over towards the B bomb site who heard that pop flash clear it long. And that's what he's passing on to his teammates. He's saying, guys, look, they, they just pop flash. They just cleared. They just saw that we're not here. You guys have got to start moving into that bomb site. And even that was almost too late. Ooh, bit. Get a little deathmatch. Good lord, the timing on that is just unreal. He's going to turn around. They're already going to be swinging wide on him. He's going to be upset. Now they've got to push forward. The bomb is farther back. Make sure somebody goes to get it. It's Perfecto who switches back. But again, that's going to delay things and give some time to Heroic to get into this bomb site. But just USPs, just pistols. The one AK-47 on Stown. And if the USPs don't create something, the AK-47 should just back away and save. Smoke down deep. Simple. It's first shot is fine, but he's taking a bit of damage. Should put us on map points, uh, barring any irregularities in this round, shall we say. Although, Shush just put himself in an interesting position. Oh, I wish he had a kit right now. I really wish he had a kit right now. I don't think they'll let him go that far, but I just love the thought of it, right? In fact, I think they'll check it. Oh, they won't. Oh, if he had a kit right now, that'd be uh, brilliant. But, uh, she gone. This round over. Yeah, Navi's going to be on 15. They've they've taken hold. This has been such a, a tough half for Heroic. And again, I can't help but feel this is this is another one of those games that is. I mean, it's a pretty close scoreline, but it still feels closer with the way Heroic's had to just grind just to stay in this. They're. I mean, they won the first round, the second round. After that, it's just been two rounds for Navi, punctuated by Heroic win, and then two more rounds for Navi, and punctuated by a Heroic win, and. We'll see what Heroic can uh, can do to stay alive in this. They have to win four straight to force us into overtime. And here we go, round 27. Molotov's 
down. Electronic through them, through them, and through two players. Oh, Boomich comes in to help as well. Katie and Shush, as well as Refresh. And it'll be refreshing for Na'Vi to start this stage of the Major, their Major, with a win going 1-0 over none other than Heroic, and that will be sweet for them. A lovely storyline, as we say. So many narratives about this game. We'll see what Heroic respond with a little bit later on today. Remember, the redraw, we've got one more 0-0 zero zero match, one more opening match, and then the yeah. redraw will be done at lunch. I'm sure the desk will have lots to say about that. And we'll be done at dinner. We'll be doing at dinner. It will be dinner. <laughs> it's uh, 1621 yeah, here you, in Romania. You cray-cray. I am cray. You're right. That's absolutely true. For many reasons. Look, it, it, I, I, there's I, different time zones in the world, Jason. Yeah, there's a few. I, uh, I I admire the fight that Heroic put up in this game, and I'm, I'm glad we saw them at this level because them competing with Navi at this stage, in my mind, is it shows it shows a better level than obviously than what we saw in the challenger stage. But just the fact that they stuck in.